Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. If you are here for keto, you are in luck because today I'm gonna to share with you my six month keto update. Shocker, I've never stuck with anything this long. So for me to be living a ketogenic lifestyle for six months is absolutely amazing. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because I do tons of sneak peeks and before and after pictures over there, show what we're eating, recipes, fall decor, my animals. Quincy's down here giving me the stink eye because I won't pick him up right now. <laughs> um, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram and make sure you subscribe because I do tons of keto videos and also I sneak in some Dollar Tree stuff every once in a while. He's not happy with me right now because I had to give him his antibiotic. We've had a slight setback and he is back on some medicines, but he seems to be doing good. And he goes to the groomer at the end of this month, finally. Finally. So again, this is my six month on keto update. We're gonna be going over quite a few things. We're gonna be going over weight loss. We're gonna be going over new products that I found this month that make me happy. I'm gonna give you a channel suggestion at the very end. I'm gonna be showing you some before and after photos. Um, I did not do measurements this month. I just didn't feel like I needed to. And I'm going to be going over some things that I figured out just from trial and error. Oh, and did I mention I have some amazing, amazing news to share with you guys. I'm so excited to tell you because I know that you will be just as happy as I am about this. Make sure you stick around till the very end and we'll be going over the numbers. Like how much weight I've lost in total and how much I lost last month. Okay, before we get started, how about a disclaimer? Everybody loves a good disclaimer. I am just an average, everyday, normal person. I am not a doctor. I am not a nurse practitioner. I am not your physician's assistant. I am not an RN. Before you start any journey in your life, health-wise, make sure you check with your doctor to see what they think. I mean, everybody is different, so check with yours. Two, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody is paying me to say anything about any product mentioned in here. And I may even say some bad things about a few products coming up. So just so you know, not sponsored and I'm not a doctor. So here we go, six month keto update. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with one of the things that has been freaking me out the most, and I did address this last month, and it was hair loss. A lot of people don't wanna talk about the issue of hair loss, and I did speak with my doctor about that and voice my concerns about hair loss and the keto diet, and he said that any major change in your life can affect your hair, so it may not be keto that's doing it. But of course, it was a major change in my life from going to a full-blown sugar and carb addict to now, you know, eating high-fat foods. I'm gonna mention your guess and say keto had a little bit to do with my hair loss, but I am 100% certain, this is my opinion, of course, but I am certain what stopped my hair loss and started new hair growth is my perfect keto collagen. I do this every single evening. This one is the vanilla. I'm almost out of it. Oh, it smells so good. See, I do have the chocolate. I'm almost out of that. And I just reordered and yesterday received the salted caramel. But this gives me the collagen that I need for the day. And my hair loss has stopped. And you can see all this new hair growth. I mean, we're talking several inches here. That's amazing. Collagen is good for hair, skin, and nails. It says it's keto friendly, gluten free, dairy free, doctor formulated, and lab tested. And you get a ton of this. This is 11 ounces. But I like the vanilla because if I want to mix it in the morning with coffee, I can just put a little bit of vanilla in there and then maybe some pumpkin spice syrup, you know. Mm so good. I love this stuff. It is not chalky and it blends up perfectly. And I have a lot of collagens in there. I will not show you because I don't want to sit and dog other products and talk bad about them. But you don't see me talking good about them on my channel because they're chalky and I cannot stand a chalky gritty drink. And this mixes up great. Love it. Not a sponsored video. Nobody sponsors my videos, guys, but I do have a discount code for you if you are interested in ordering this. Since the filming of this video, Perfect Keto contacted me and said that they would love to give my viewers a special promo code. 
So for the next two days, September 16th and 17th, they're offering $10 off your $40 purchase. I will have all the information below in the description box. Right now would be the perfect time to order. Oh, and did I mention this? Their perfect keto bars in the chocolate chip cookie dough are back in stock. Another thing that I started this month was Zip Fizz. And what I was unaware of is that Zip Fizz is made with an artificial sweetener, which is deadly to your animals, even in a small amount. We bought the variety pack, it had 30 in it. It's supposed to be good to get your electrolytes in and your potassium, I believe. I was getting two carbs from, you know, one mixed up drink from it. But, you know, it tasted good and I kept telling myself I was doing my body good. But ever since I found out that it has that artificial sweetener in it, I've been freaking out and having nightmares. I wake up in the middle of the night thinking that Quincy or Mira has got a hold of it and something's happened to them. So even though I love Zip Fizz, I'm worried that somehow they may get a hold of it. I know they're not going to get a hold of that little tube and open it. I keep it up high on a shelf. But what if, you know, I spill it and they get to it before I can get it cleaned up or something? I know it's an irrational fear and I have tons of irrational fears. So maybe I will just start drinking Zip Fizz out in my office or in the workout room we'll talk about that in a minute or only when we're out of the house I'm not sure you guys give me your suggestions I know I know I'm just being irrational probably but if something happened to one of them I would never forgive myself you guys know that I have been drinking the sparkling ice uh, they come in like tons of different names every you know single store in town Walmart Sam's Club Costco um, Target everybody has their own brand or generic version of the sparkling ice well although they may have sweeteners in them that aren't good for you they usually don't spike your blood glucose but they contain biotin and although biotin is good for hair skin and nails biotin for a lot of people myself and my daughter included Kerrigan my 17 year old it causes us to break out in cystic acne something fierce google it if you have to i could not figure out why i was having such an issue with acne and i use curology and that stuff is amazing so one day we were sitting down to eat our sunday dinner we had friends over and for some reason i was just looking at the ingredients on the back of the sparkling ice biotin a ton of biotin in it. It seems like it was like 100% of what you need. And then I went and got a different brand, biotin. Then I went and got another brand, biotin. So I checked them all. They all have it. So since then, and we're only talking a couple of days, I decided to limit the sparkling ice drinks or the generic versions that I'm taking in or consuming to pretty much just a drink here or there. Never a bottle, never a whole bottle at a time just um, I'll mix it up with my perfect keto base but I'll only have a very tiny amount but I am not gonna be consuming those in quantity anymore another thing I learned this past month basically in the last few days is that I need to start testing certain items that I have incorporated into my diet <laughs> like the bang energy drink if you have not seen that blood glucose result i will have it linked down below and also in the cards for you guys i'm going to start testing foods that i consume to see how they affect me now i'm not talking about i'm going to see how a steak affects me we know what's going to go on there but these items that i bring into my life like bang energy and some protein bars and things like that i'm going to start testing because i think that they may be contributing to my weight loss style because they are spiking my blood sugar now just because it affects me doesn't mean it's going to affect you of course make sure you're testing i it's just been this past month that i realized i need to start seeing how the effects of some foods are like the smart cakes and things like that so that's one thing i learned this month that has been extremely important and i've started eliminating things from my diet and i suggest if you're having weight loss stalls you might want to do the same more changes for the past month we started a home gym back here in my office uh 
which the first room is my office or studio, recording studio for winter months. Of course, in the summer, you know I'm gonna be out here anytime it's warm. But when it's raining or um, it starts getting cold, I'm gonna record out there. And I do a lot of my work out there on the computer. So there is a back room to that. But if you remember, we had a huge space that was empty and I told Chris, have at it, do whatever you want. He decided a home gym and I was like, let's go for it. I need to start working out. <laughs> now don't get excited. I've not started yet. He just finished putting all the equipment in today. Well, not all of it, but putting it together. And we still have one more piece that we're going to get. And for next month's update, you better hold me to it and I better be exercising. So we'll talk about it then. I'll take you out there and we'll take a quick peek. Okay, I can't guarantee what it's looked like. I've not been in here today. He probably still has all of, when Quincy's out here with me, he probably still has all the boxes and stuff out here. Oh no, he's got it cleaned up. So let me show you what we got going on. We have the elliptical here. He has a Bowflex weight bench and the Bowflex dumbbells. We have this little bar and this little dumbbell for Briley, who has been working out for like a week now and you would not believe her muscles. And believe me guys, I'm not trying to get her to. And then we picked up this piece off of Amazon. Here's what it looks like. And this is what we're going to be doing a lot of our workout on. And I'm thinking I'm gonna be getting a recumbent bike and we'll be setting it right here. We also put a TV out here, a clock on the wall which needs to come down to about right here, I think. I think Chris wanted it high in case we put anything else right here. So here's what we look like so far. Still have all this room to put some equipment. This <laughs> Kerrigan space, which she no longer comes out here and works on, is right here. And then the big machine. So we still got plenty of room. We're thinking about putting some mirrors on the wall over here. We put the shelf up to keep you know, the girls' gloves up there, Chris's gloves, and the remote, so I don't lose it. But, yep, we're turning this into a home gym. Again, not complete, but when it is, I will make sure you guys get to see it. Okay, no more waiting. I have got to share the most exciting news with you, the best thing about keto for this family. As many of you may or may not know, my entire family is following a ketogenic lifestyle. My husband, myself, my 10 year old daughter, my 17 year old daughter, which started it all, my 23 year old son, and also my mother. She has been diabetic for over 10 years now. She was taking 86 units in the morning and 86 units at night to control her insulin. And then she was still having issues. Two weeks ago, we took her back to the doctor for her checkup and her A1C was at six, which means she is no longer considered diabetic and her doctor told her she needed to come off of her insulin. So my mother for almost a week now has been off of her insulin. She is no longer injecting that into her body. She is completely cured, the doctor said, as far as being a diabetic. It has just amazed me in what short period of time her entire life has changed. I am not the type of person to show much emotion. I keep things like this inside. I mean, I am thrilled about it, of course, but I try to keep everything, you know, right below the surface. I'm helping mom, trying to show her what to do and what to eat, you know and things like that. But really guys, this has been amazing. I think, I really think this is why we were led to keto. I mean, Kerrigan, my 17 year old, is the one that brought this to us in January and she has lost well over 50 pounds. We have all lost weight, but more importantly, we have got healthy. And for my mother to be off insulin is amazing. I would say, at this point, my family, all of us, including my mother, we have lost over 150 pounds following the ketogenic lifestyle. It's just completely mind blowing. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the numbers. If you don't remember, I did start keto on March 10th of this year, 2019. And at that point I weighed, now wait for it, 
232.2 pounds. Now, in case you don't know, I am extremely tall for a girl. I am five foot 11 almost, I think just a little bit below that. So I just round up, <laughs> I'm five foot 11. Um, so I'm pretty tall and I carry my weight different than a lot of people. So when you hear 232.2, it sounds like a big number and it is a big number so as of this month which was my sixth month on keto and that was september 10th 2019 of course i am down to 189.6 so that gives me sorry looking down that gives me a weight loss of 42.6 pounds for six months I did lose the majority of my weight in the very beginning. I think the first two weeks I lost 16 pounds. I do have a video on how I lost it, so make sure you check that out. I do have update videos on every single month that tell you how much I lost and it gives you little updates like this of things I figured out and learned. So you might want to look at those. But last month, in case you don't remember, I was 190.6 pounds. And this month I was 189.6. So I only lost one pound this past month. And again, I think it's because of the weight loss stalls and the, well, I know for a fact it's because of a weight loss stall, but I think it's because of the foods that I've been eating are hindering my weight loss. And to a lot of people, these foods are keto friendly and they don't affect them. But for me, they really have a major effect. I am in a size 10 now, and again, to be down 42.6 pounds, um, it's been amazing. It's been life-changing to go from a 16 to a 10, to be able to eat tons of good, delicious food. And I was at the point where I was basically trying to starve myself to lose weight, and I was still gaining. So now to be able to eat and lose weight and be healthy is making me far happier than the starving myself or what I was doing was just being you know I was binging on carbs and sugar and that was not very healthy for me considering I'm hypoglycemic it was just a very vicious cycle so let me go ahead and add my six month pictures in right now and I'll also show you some before pictures <laughs> Also a story for another date. Some of these pictures, I'll have the date on them and these may shock you. My goal weight when starting keto was 185 pounds. That's where I told myself I wanted to get, but now I think I've decided that I'm just gonna keep doing keto, and if I keep dropping weight, then so be it. I obviously have the weight to lose. Last month, I gave you two YouTube channels I had been watching. This time, I'm gonna give you one YouTube channel and a book. So the YouTube channel that I have been binge watching like crazy is Highfalutin Low Carb. I'll have him linked below, but he does comparison cooking videos. He'll take the most popular recipes online and he will like pit them against each other and do the recipes, show you what it looks like. He doesn't give you all the information. He wants you to go to their site to check it out, but he lets you know which one's the best. And this saves me tons of trial and error. So at least if I want to make something, I know to go look there first. So go check his channel out. He has no idea who I am, but let's let him know who I am. Tell him his biggest fan, Christy Davis, sent you. <laughs> okay, and another thing that I have discovered this past month, which has been life-changing also, is the Southern Keto Cookbook. Everybody talks about this thing, but I was like, I don't need a cookbook. And then one of you guys, one of my subscribers, who is a very lovely person, 
Anna. She contacted me, said she had an extra one and she'd love to send it to me. I think I have cooked a recipe out of this thing every single day since. So thank you so much. This will be linked below for you guys. If you don't have this, I highly suggest you get it. Okay, that is all I have for this six month keto update. I'm pleased, I really am. Any loss is a loss. I'm trying new things, I'm trying to stay positive. That's one of the main things I'm trying to do in my life. So any drop in weight is better than none or a gain. And that is my goal at this point. So. If we can do keto and you're thinking about giving it a shot, just start watching some of my videos and some of the other people out there. There is some great content on YouTube and tons of stuff that you can research online. The first six weeks of keto, I was not happy. And I thought there's no way I can stick with this. And the only reason I did was my 17 year old daughter. She would literally see me eating something and slap it out of my hand and it would go flying through the air. So I thank her for that because once I got to that six week mark and become fat adapted, it was just like something flipped. The switch flipped and the cravings went away and I started feeling good and I started feeling healthy and it just became so easy. So my suggestion to you is if you're thinking about keto, give it a shot if your doctor says it's okay and give it a good shot. We're talking at least two months and see what happens see what the change is because you might be pleasantly surprised. I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope everyone has an amazing day. Bye.